Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Dutch Conversation Lessons by iFactNet.com. In these lessons, we will be learning uh, to speak in Dutch and we will be learning to speak simple uh, phrases, common day phrases in Dutch. Let's start our lesson number one, which is about questions. Simple questions. How do we ask simple questions in Dutch? Questions are called vragen. 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 In Dutch, if you are not familiar with the Dutch pronunciation, then please uh, watch uh, my video tutorial series on Learn Dutch through English lessons. And uh, let's start our lesson number one. Of Dutch conversation questions vragen how are you who gaat het G is pronounced as ga in Dutch who gaat het who gaat het who gaat het who means how gaat is going het it how is it going? Usually in Dutch we ask Who got it? How are you? How much does this cost? What cost het? What cost het? What cost het? What? What does it cost? Usually we ask What does it cost in Dutch? What cost het? What cost het? How is the weather? Who is het where? Who is het where? Da is het. For da we use either da, de or het uh, for different words and if you would like to learn more about it the difference between da and het then please watch my videos. Who is at where? Where is weather? Who is at where? How is your family? Who had had met ye family? Who had had met ye family? Usually in Dutch we use ye in the informal environment and you can use u for the formal environment. When you want to be polite and out of respect, then you would say, Who got it met U family? But when you are talking to a younger person or a friend, then you would say, Who got it met a family? Who got it met a family? Who got it met a family? So, Kha word is a little difficult to pronounce. Who got it met a? J is pronounced as Y in Dutch. So, it's who got it met a family? How are your kids? Who got it met u kinderen? Who got it met u kinderen? Now uh, I'm being polite, therefore I'm using u. And u is pronounced as u. Who got it met our family? Who got it met your family? Who got it met your family? So let's uh, do the exercises. I will speak in English and you will try to speak in Dutch. Questions. Fragen. Good. How are you? It's not God. It's God. 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 Who got it? How much does this cost? Yes, what cost it? What cost it? What cost it? How is the weather? Good. Who is it where? How is your family? Family. 
Yes, hoe gaat het met je familie? How are your kids? Very good. Hoe gaat het met uw kinderen? So, let's uh, repeat the Dutch version once again. Verachen. Hoe gaat het? Wat kost het? Hoe is het weer? Hoe gaat het met je family? Hoe gaat het met uw kinderen? Out of respect, we say o. And for younger persons, we say ye. So guys and girls, this was our lesson number one of Learn Dutch Conversation. If you would like to do some more exercises, then please visit us on ifactner.com. Please uh, like this video and share this video with your friends. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Dag. Doei. Hey guys and girls, welcome to your lesson number two of Learn Dutch Conversation by ifactner.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn some simple phrases about grocery shopping. Shopping or uh, grocery shopping is called Bod Schapendun. Bod Schapendun. Bod Schapendun. Bod Schapendun. Let's start our lesson. Grocery shopping. Bod Schapendun. How much does this cost? What cost it? What cost it? What cost it? How much does this cost? What cost it? Is it fresh? Is het fresh? Is it fresh? Simple. Is it fresh? Is it fresh? Is it fresh? It is too expensive. Het is te duur. Te is too and duur. Duur. Duur is expensive. Het is te duur. Het is te duur. Het is te duur. It is too expensive. It is stale. Het is moof. 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 It is stil. This is cheap. Dit is goed koop. Goed koop is basically cheap. This is cheap. Dit is goed koop. Dit is goed koop. It's ge. Goed koop. Dit is goed koop. So guys and girls, let's uh, start our practice session. I will uh, speak in English and I would like you to translate and speak in Dutch. Grocery shopping. Yes, boodschappen. Boodschappen doen. Boodschappen doen. How much does this cost? What what cost it? What cost it? What does it cost? Is it fresh? Is it fresh? Good. It is too expensive. It is te duur. Duur. U. U is pronounced as u. Duur. It is te duur. It is stale. Yes, it is moof. This is cheap. Very good. This is goed koop. So guys and girls, thank you very much for joining us for lesson number two. 
offline Dutch conversation by ifactioner.com. If you would like to do some more exercises and download this presentation, then please go to ifactioner.com. If you like this presentation, then please give us a thumbs up. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Dag, doei. Hey guys and girls, welcome to your lesson number three of Learn Dutch Conversation by ifactioner.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how do we say don't do this or don't do that in Dutch. Let's start our lesson. Don't. Niet doen. Niet means not and doen means do. Do not. Don't. Niet doen. Don't. Niet doen. Don't make noise. Mark geen lawaai. Mark is make. Geen is not and lawaai is noise. Mak geen lawaai. It's geen. Mak geen lawaai. Mak geen lawaai. Don't make noise. Don't irritate me. Neet irriteren. Me. Some people would say irriteren and some people would say irritera. Irritera. So N is silent in their voice, but both uh, pronunciations are good. Nate, irritan me. Nate, irritan me. Nate, irritan me. Don't irritate me. Don't turn off the TV. Nate, out. Out means off or out. Outskakelen. Outskakelen. Some people would say it outskakelen. And uh, other other times, they some people would say outskar color, outskar color. So N is silent or it's in a very soft tone. Net outskar color, from the TV. Net outskar color from the TV or net outskar color from the TV. Both are good. Net outskar color from the TV. Don't turn off the TV. Don't make a mess. Mark net pound hoop. Pound hoop mess. Mark net pound hoop. Mark net pound hoop. Don't make a mess. Don't fight or scream. Net fechten of screwen. Screwen. Net fechten. V is pronounced as fa, fe, f, net fechten. So it's net fechten. Of screwen. Some people would say fechter and screwer. Both are good. Net fechten of screwen. Net fechter of screwer. Don't fight or scream. So, guys and girls, now let's start our practice session. I will speak in English. And I would expect you to translate and speak in Dutch. Don't. Very good. Nate Duin. Don't make noise. Lawai. Mark Gen Lawai. Very good. Don't irritate me. Nate. Irritera me. Very good. Don't turn off the TV. Out skakelen. Scha. It's out skakelen. From the TV. Nice. Don't make a mess. Yes. Mark net pound hope. Don't fight or scream. Net fechten of screwen. Very good. So guys and girls, now I will only speak in Dutch and it will conclude our lesson. Net doen. Mark geen lawaai. Net editen me. Net 
uitschakelen van de tv. Maak net puinhoop. Net vechten of schreeuwen. So guys and girls, if you li would like to do some more exercises and download this presentation, then please visit us on ifactner.com. If you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Da, doei. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Learn Dutch Conversation Lessons by ifactner.com. In lesson number four, we will be learning how do we express ourselves in terms of moods in Dutch. Let's start our lesson. Moods are called stemmingen, stemmingen in Dutch. Stem, mingen. So it's G. It, the pro, uh, the sound is G. It's not H as in the usual words, because it's in the middle. And uh, we will talk more about it later on. Stemmingen. Stemmingen. Moods. Stemmingen. I am happy. Ik ben blij. I and J are pronounced as Y. Ik ben blij. Ik ben blij. Ik ben blij. I am happy. I am sad. Ik ben verdrietig. Ik ben verdrietig. Now G is pronounced as ga. Ik ben verdrietig. Ik ben verdrietig. Ik ben verdrietig. I am sad. I am excited. Ik ben opgewonden. Opgewonden. Ik ben opgewonden. Some people would say it like this. Ik ben opgewonden. Da. So and in a very soft uh, uh, noise. But some people would say just like in English. Uh, opgewonden. It's not gewonden. It's ge. Opgewonden. Ik ben opgewonden. I am excited. I am energetic. Ik ben energiek. Ik ben energiek. Ik ben energiek. Nooit giek. Ik ben energiek. Ik ben energiek. I am lonely. Ik ben eenzaam. Een is one. Eenzaam. Lonely. Ik ben eenzaam. Ik ben eenzaam. Ik ben eenzaam. I am lonely. So guys and girls, let's begin our practice session. I will speak in English and I would expect you to speak in Dutch and please do it loudly. Moods. Stemmingen. Yes, good. I am happy. Ja, blij. Ik ben blij. I am sad. Yes, ik ben verdrietig. Verdrietig. I am excited. Ik ben opgewonden. Because not starting with G, so it's we are saying opgewonden. I am energetic. Yes, it's energiek. Because G is uh, uh, the word, the second part of the word is starting with G, so it's G. Ik ben energiek. I am lonely. Yes, ik ben eenzaam. So guys and girls, uh, let's uh, repeat the words in Dutch or the phrases in Dutch one more time. Stemmingen. 
Ik ben blij. Ik ben verdrietig. Verdrietig. Ik ben opgewonden. Ik ben energiek. Energiek. Ik ben eenzaam. So guys and girls, if you would like to download the presentation and do some more exercises, then please visit ifractioner.com. If you liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Bye. Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Dutch Conversation Lessons by ifractioner.com. In lesson number five, we will be learning to talk to the shopkeeper. Talking to the shopkeeper is called Parata Metta Winkelier. Parata. So N is very soft here. Parata Metta Winkelier. Parata Metta Winkelier. Talking to the shopkeeper. Parata Metta Winkelier. I want to buy some meat and vegetables. Ik wil wat vlees en groenten te kopen. What is uh, uh, used in the meaning of some? So what means what and what means also means some. Ik wil wat vlees and grunde te kopen. So you uh, have to be soft on N. Ik wil wat vlees en grunde te kopen. I want to buy some meat and vegetables. Ik wil wat vlees en grunde te kopen. I want to buy some butter and bread for the breakfast. Ik wil wat butter and brood for het Ont bait te kopen. Butter is butter, brood is bread, and ont bait. It's ont b a y. So i n j e n g are sound like y in English. So it's ont bait. Ik wil wat butter and brood for het ont bait te kopen. Ik wil wat butter and brood for het ont bite te koppel. Ik wil wat boter en brood for het ont bite te koppel. I want to buy some butter and bread for the breakfast. Do you have minced meat? Heb je gehad gehad vlees? Heb je gehad Vlees. Heb je gehakt vlees? Heb je gehakt vlees? Heb je gehakt vlees? Do you have minced meat? Give me one kilo. Geef me een kilo. Geef, it's geef. Geef me een kilo. Geef me een kilo. Geef me een kilo. Give me one kilo. Can you help me out? Kunt u mij helpen? Kunt u mij helpen? Kunt u mij helpen? Kunt u mij helpen? Can you help me out? I am looking for oil. Ik ben op zoek naar olie. It's olie. <coughs> Ik ben op zoek naar olie. Ik ben op zoek naar olie. Ik ben op zoek naar suiker. Sugar is suiker. Ik ben op zoek naar olie. Ik ben op zoek naar vlees. I am looking for oil on which counter will i find it op welke because e is pronounced as a e in dutch the words op welke teller ik 
vind het. Op welke teller ik vind het? Op welke teller ik vind het? Op welke teller ik vind het? On which counter will I find it? Thanks for the information. Bedankt for the informatie. Now it's informatie. Bedankt for the informatie. Bedankt for the informatie. Bedankt for the informatie. Thanks for the information. Do you accept credit cards? Accept it. O credit cards. Accept it. O credit cards. Accept it. O credit cards. Thanks for your help. Bedankt for o help. When you want to be polite, then you say o, and when you are talking to a younger person, you just can say bedankt for your help. Dank je wel. Dank u wel. Bedankt voor uw help. Bedankt voor uw help. Bedankt voor uw help. Thanks for your help. So guys and girls, now we will practice these sentences. I will speak in English and you will be speaking in Dutch and please do it in a loud voice and a clear voice. Talking to the shopkeeper. Yes, prata met the winkelier. It's not praten, it's prata met the winkelier. I want to buy some meat and vegetables. Ik wil wat vlees en groente te kopen. I want to buy some butter and bread for the breakfast. Nice. Ik wil wat water en brood. R is with the thrill. It's water and brood. For het ont by te kopen. Do you have minced meat? Ge hakt. It's ge hakt. So there is a different sound of ge and ha. Ge hakt. Vlees. Heb je ge hakt vlees? Give me one kilo. Geef me een kilo. Geef me een kilo. Can you help me out? Nice. Kunt u mij helpen? I am looking for oil. Oli. Ik ben op zoek naar oli. On which counter will, it, will I find it? Op welke teller? Ik vind het. Nice. Thanks for the information. Very good. Bedankt voor de informatie. Do you accept credit cards? Accept it. O credit cards. Cards. Accept it. O credit cards. Thanks for your help. Yes, bedankt voor u help. Help. Bedankt voor u help. So guys and girls, uh, now I will just uh, read the sentences aloud in Dutch. Praten met de winkelier. Ik wil wat vlees en groente te kopen. Ik wil wat but water and brood voor het ontbijt te kopen. Heb je 
gekocht vlees geef me een kilo kunt u mij helpen ik ben op zoek naar Oli op welke teller ik vind het bedankt voor de informatie accepteert u credit cards bedankt voor uw help so guys and girls uh, if you would like to do some more exercises and download the presentation in pdf files then please visit us on ifactioner.com if you liked this video then please give us a thumbs up i will see you in the next lesson until then take care dag doei hey guys and girls welcome to learn dutch conversation lessons by ifactioner.com in lesson number six we will be learning how to express ourselves when we are enthusiastic enthusiastic is called enthusiast or enthusiast in dutch enthusiast enthusiast let's start our lesson enthusiastic enthusiast i am very enthusiastic about this opportunity ik ben zeer enthusiast over het over deze kans kans is also chance or opportunity ik ben zeer enthusiast over deze kans ik ben zeer enthusiast over deze kans so it's v is between v and f and v it's offer offer deze kans ik ben zeer enthusiast over deze kans i am very enthusiastic about this opportunity she is enthusiastic about her education zij is enthusiast over haar opleiding zij is enthusiast over haar opleiding opleiding is education haar is for her zij is enthusiast over haar opleiding and when we would like to say he is enthusiastic about his education then we would write hi as enthusiast over zijn it's his means zijn hi is on enthusiast over zijn opleiding i am an enthusiastic individual ik ben een enthusiast persoon ik ben een enthusiast persoon ik ben een enthusiast persoon i am an enthusiastic individual his brother is very enthusiastic about football zijn broer is zeer enthusiast over football football zijn broer is zeer enthusiast over football zijn broer is zeer enthusiast over football zijn broer broer it's r with thrill on both the sides zijn broer is zeer enthusiast over football shena is enthusiastic about shopping shena is enthusiast over winkelen shena is enthusiast over winkelen shena is enthusiast over winkelen shena is enthusiastic about shopping so guys and girls let's begin our practice session i will be speaking in english and you will be speaking in dutch and please do it in a clear loud voice enthusiastic 
yes enthusiast not e in it's un more closer to an enthusiast i am very enthusiastic about this opportunity yes ik ben zeer enthusiast over deze kans she is enthusiastic about her education yes zij is enthusiast over haar opleiding and if i say he is enthusiastic about his education then what would you say yes hi is enthusiast over sein opleiding i am an enthusiastic individual ik ben een enthusiaste person good his brother is very enthusiastic about football sein z y n so you always try to read it as z y n sein yes sein brother is zeer enthusiast over football football sheena is enthusiastic about shopping yes sheena is enthusiast over winkelen so guys and girls now i will repeat only the dutch version of this lesson so please listen carefully enthusiast ik ben zeer enthusiast over deze kans zij is enthusiast over haar opleiding ik ben een enthusiast persoon zijn broer is zeer enthusiast over voetbal sheena is enthusiast over winkelen so guys and girls if you would like to download the pdf and presentation of this uh, lesson then please visit us on ifactner.com if you liked this lesson then please give us a thumbs up i will see you in the next lesson until then take care dag doei hey guys and girls welcome to learn dutch conversation lessons by ifactner.com in lesson number 7 we will be learning some abusing and swearing in dutch but we will be within the limits abusing is called misbruik misbruik and swearing is called floka floka so n is very soft here floka let's start our lesson abusing and swearing misbruik and floka get lost rot op rot op rot op rot op get lost don't talk rubbish parat khen onzen parat khen onzen parat khen onzen parat khen onzen don't talk rubbish you are a fool ye bent and the was 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 you are a fool you are mad ye bent gek gek is also crack you are a crack person you are mad ye bent gek ye bent ye bent gek ye bent gek 
you are mad go to hell loop nada hell loop means walk walk towards the hell or walks to the hell walk to the hell it literally means walk to the hell loop nar the hell loop na the hell loop na the hell loop na the hell go to hell you are angry ye bent boss ye bent boss so if someone says you in dutch ye bent boss it doesn't mean that you are a boss it means that you are angry ye bent boss i hate you ik haat je ik haat je ik haat je ik haat je i hate you you are an ass ye bent an aisel ye bent an aisel ye bent an aisel ye bent an aisel you are an ass what the hell 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 buzz off kha vek ga vek kha vek go away kha vek buzz away <coughs> so guys and girls now i will speak in english and i would expect you to speak in dutch let's start our practice lesson lesson abusing swearing yes miss brauk flocken get lost yes rot up don't talk rubbish yes rat khain onzin you are a fool ye bent and dwas good you are mad ye bent hek it's ye and it's kh ye bent hek go to hell lop nar da hell it's r Rr, lop nar the hell. You are angry. Yes, ye bent boss. I hate you. Yes, ik haat je. You are an ass. Aisel. ye bent an aisel what the hell yeah what the hell buzz off kha vek kha vek so guys and girls now i will only repeat the dutch sentences so please listen to me carefully miss brauk floker rot up prat khen onzin ye bent and dwas ye bent hack lop na the hell ye bent boss ik haat ye ye bent an aisel what the hell kha vek So guys and girls if you would like to download the presentation in pdf uh, of this uh, tutorial or if you would like to do some more exercises then please visit us on ifactional.com if you liked this video then please give us a thumbs up i will see you in the next lesson until then take care da doi Hey guys and girls welcome to learn dutch conversation lessons by ifactional.com in this lesson we are going to learn different names of fruits in dutch fruits are called fruchte 
in Dutch fruchten fruchten n is soft it's fruchten fruchten let's start our lesson pear is called pear pear r with a thrill pear pear melon is called melon 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 apricot abricus 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 plum is called prom 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 mango is called mango 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 fruit 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 is called fruit and fruits are called fruchten fruit banana banan 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 grapes drofen 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 f drofen tangerine is called mandarin mandarin i n g r pronounces y mandarin mandarin pineapple is called ananas 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 orange orania 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 so guys and girls let's start our practice session i will name the fruits in english and i would expect you to name them in dutch fruit 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 r is with the thrill it's fruit pear pear nice melon melon good apricot abricus good plum prom prom mango yeah mango banana yes banan grapes nice drofen 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 tangerine mandarin mandarin pineapple good ananas orange orania orania and orange is also the dutch uh, national color so now let's uh, uh, try one more time i will only speak in dutch now les acht fruchten fruit pear melon abricots prom mango banan drofen mandarin ananas orania so guys and girls if you would like to 
do some more exercises then please visit ifactioner.com if you liked this video then please give us a thumbs up i will see you in the next lesson until then take care da doi hey guys and girls welcome to learn dutch conversation lessons by ifactioner.com in lesson number 9 we will be learning what do we call different vegetables in dutch vegetables are called groente in dutch groente groente and is silent in the end uh, it's it's not silent it's very soft groente groente let's start our lesson vegetable is called groente groente potato or potato hard apple hard apple apple is uh, apple and hard apple hard apple is potato hard apple tomato or tomato is tomato 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 lady finger is lady finger lady finger is lady finger cabbage coal 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 cauliflower is bloom coal bloom is flower bloom coal bloom coal bloom coal carrot water 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 wortel r is with the thrill wortel cucumber com comer com comer com comer com comer com comer com comer bitter kraut is bitter kalebas bitter bitter kalebas bitter kalebas bitter kalebas onion is ui 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 garlic is knoflook 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 so guys and girls let's start our practice session i will be speaking the vegetables name names in english and i would expect you to translate and speak aloud in dutch vegetable groente potato potato hard apple hard is earth and apple is apple so it's uh, because uh, uh, potatoes are uh, taken out from the earth it is called hard apple tomato yes tomato lady finger yeah lady finger cabbage it's not cool it's cool cauliflower yes bloom coal carrot wortel cucumber yes komkomer bitter kraut bitter gourd yes bitter kalebas onion Yes, ui. Garlic. Yes, knoflook. So guys and girls, now I will only speak in Dutch. Less negen. Groente. Groente. Hard apple. Tomaat. lady finger 
call plum call wortel komkomar bitter kalebas ui knoflook so guys and girls if you would like to download the presentation and do some more exercises then please visit us on ifactna.com if you liked this video then please thumb give us a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next lesson hopefully until then take care dag doei hey guys and girls welcome to learn dutch conversation lessons by ifactna.com in lesson number 10 we will be talking about relatives and relations in dutch relatives are called family in dutch family family let's start our lesson 10 relatives family my nephew is very intelligent my nephew is zeer intelligent my nephew is zeer intelligent it's kh and it's r r my nephew is zeer intelligent my nephew is zeer intelligent my nephew is very intelligent my niece is very nice my nichte is erg mooi my nichte is zeer mooi of erg mooi my nichte is erg mooi my nichte is erg mooi my nice niece is very nice my mother-in-law and father-in-law are educated my schoon mother and schoon father zijn opgeleid my schoon mother and schoon father zijn opgeleid my schoon mother and schoon father zijn opgeleid my mother-in-law and father-in-law are educated my brother is a brother-in-law fights a lot my zwager fecht veel my zwager fecht veel my zwager fecht veel my zwager fecht veel my brother-in-law fights a lot My younger brother plays cricket. Mine, Jon Gerre. Jon Gerre. Brewer spelled cricket. Mine, Jon Gerre. Brewer spelled cricket. Mine, Jon Gerre. Brewer spelled cricket. Mine, Jon Gerre. Brewer spelled cricket. in very in the in in netherlands very few people know about cricket mein jonkre brewer spelled cricket now let's uh, discuss about relations father or dad i is called father 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 mother mom mother 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 sister zus 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 and younger sister is called zusie zusie brother is called brewer 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 aunt is called tante 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 uncle is called om 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 mother in law schoon mother 
سخون مادر سخون مادر سخون مادر دوچنین لا سخون دختر سخون دختر سخون دختر سخون دختر Guys and girls, let's begin our practice session. I will speak in English and you will be speaking in Dutch. Relatives. Family. Good. My nephew is very intelligent. My nephew is very intelligent. Good. My niece is very nice my nichtie is erg mooi my mother in law and father in law are educated yes my schoon mother and schoon father zijn opgeleid my brother in law fights a lot Mein Zwacher fecht fail. My younger brother plays cricket. Yes, mein younger brother spelt hockey. Father or dad? Father, good. Mother or mom? Mother. Sister? Yes, Zeus, brother, brewer, aunt, tante, uncle, home, mother-in-law, schoon, mother, yes, daughter-in-law, schoon, daughter, and son is called schoon, zon. So guys and girls, now I will uh, just uh, repeat the rest lesson in Dutch. Le less teen, family, family. My nephew is very intelligent. My nichtie is erg mooi. My schoon mother and schoon father zijn opgeleid. Mijn zwager vecht veel. Mijn jongere broer speelt cricket. Family. Vader. Moeder. Zus. Broer. Tante. Oom. Schoonmoeder. Schoondochter. Zoon. Zoon is son. En dochter is daughter. So guys and girls if you would like to download the PDF and do some more exercises then please visit us on ifactional.com please subscribe to my channel if you liked this video then please give me a thumbs up I will see you in the next lesson until then take care Dag, doei Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Dutch Conversation Lessons by ifactionet.com. In lesson number 11, we will be talking about choices, likes and don't likes. Let's start our lesson. Choices are called curses in Dutch. Choice, curse. I like watching dramas. Ik hou van kijken naar 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 dramas. I like watching dramas. I like to run. Ik hou van rennen. Ik hou van rennen. Ik hou van rennen. Ik hou van rennen. I like to run. I like cooking. Ik hou van koeken. 
Ik hou van koeken. En is soft. Ik hou van koeken. Ik hou van koeken. I like cooking. I like to cook vegetables. Ik graag koken groenten. Ik graag koken groenten. It means I would like to cook vegetables. Ik graag koken groenten. I like reading. Ik hou van lezen. Ik hou van lezen. Ik hou van lezen. Ik hou van lezen. I like reading. Don't like. Net hou van. Now let's discuss about don't likes. Net hou van. I don't like watching dramas. Ik hou net van dramas kijken. 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 I don't like to run. Ik hou net van het rennen. Ik hou net van het rennen. Ik hou net van het rennen. R is with the chill r. Rennen. Ik hou, ik hou niet van het rennen. I don't like cooking. Ik hou niet van koken. Ik hou niet van koken. Ik hou niet van koken. I don't like to cook vegetables. Ik hou niet van om groenten te koken. Ik hou niet van om groenten te koken. Ik hou niet van om groenten te koken. I don't like to cook vegetables. I don't like reading. Ik hou niet van lezen. 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 I don't like reading. So guys and girls, let's begin our practice session. I will speak in English and you will be speaking in Dutch. Choice. Keuze. Yes. I like watching dramas. Yes. Ik hou van kijken naar dramas. I like to run. Good. Ik hou van rennen. I like cooking. Yeah. Ik hou van koeken. I like to cook vegetables. Very good. Ik graag koeken groenten. Ik graag, ik graag koeken groenten. I like reading. Yes. Ik hou van lezen. Let's talk about don't likes. Don't like. Ja, net hou van. I don't like watching dramas. Ik hou net van dramas te kijken. I don't like to run. Nice, ik hou net van het rennen. I don't like cooking. Aha, ik hou net van koken. I don't like to cook vegetables. Nice. Ik hou niet van om groenten te koken. I don't like reading. Yes, ik hou niet van lezen. So guys and girls, now I will only deliver this lesson in Dutch. Les elf. Keuzes. Keuze. Ik hou van kijken naar dramas. Ik hou van rennen. Ik hou van koeken. Ik graag koeken grinten. Ik hou van lezen. 
Ik hou niet van jamas te kijken. Ik hou niet van het rennen. Ik hou niet van koeken. Ik hou niet van om groente te koeken. Ik hou niet van lezen. Lezen. So guys and girls, thank you very much for joining us for today's lesson. If you would like to download this presentation of this tutorial, then please visit us on ifactner.com. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Da doe. Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Dutch Conversation Lessons by ifactner.com. In lesson number 12, we will be discussing some most common Dutch phrases. Uh, let's start our lesson. Sentences are called zinnen in Dutch. Zinnen. Zinnen. I am hungry. Ik heb honger. Ik heb honger. In Dutch we say I have hunger. Ik heb honger. Ik heb honger. I am hungry. I am thirsty. Ik heb dorst. Ik heb dorst. Ik heb dorst. I am thirsty. Ik heb dorst. I have a thirst. I am sleepy. Ik ben slaperig. Ik ben slaperig. Ik ben slaperig. I am sleepy. Ik ben slaperig. I am tired. Ik ben moe. Ik ben moe. Ik ben moe. I am tired. Ik ben moe. Don't fight with me. Niet vechten met mij. Niet vechten met mij. Niet vechten. V is pronounced as V. Niet vechten met mij. Don't fight with me. Niet vechten met mij. I want to buy clothes. Ik wil kleren kopen. Ik wil kleren kopen. So in Dutch, usually we use very soft N at the end of the word. Ik wil kleren kopen. Ik wil kleren kopen. Ik wil kleren kopen. Ik wil kleren kopen. I want to buy clothes. I want new shoes. Ik wil nieuwe, nieuwe schoenen. Ik wil nieuwe schoenen. Ik wil nieuw, nieuwe schoenen. Ik wil nieuwe schoenen. I want new shoes. I want to eat candy. Ik wil snoep eten. Ik will will is want snoop candy eater eat ik will snoop eater i want to eat candy i have headache ik heb hooft pain remember that i and j are sound like y it's e and y in dutch so it's y ik heb hooft pain ik heb hoofd pain ik heb hoofd pain i have back pain ik heb pain in de rug ik heb pain in de rug ik heb pain in de rug i have back pain ik heb pain in de rug i have gone mad ik ben gek geworden. Geworden. Geworden means it happened. It has happened. Gek is mad. Ik heb gek geworden. Ik heb 
gek geworden. I have gone mad. Ik heb gek geworden. I will straighten you out. Ik zal je recht zetten. Ik zal je recht zetten. Ik zal je recht zetten. In a normal uh, conversation we say ik zal je recht zetten. So N is very soft. Ik zal je recht zetten. I got scared at night. Ik ben bang s'nachts. <coughs> ik ben bang s'nachts. At night s'nachts. Night is nacht and s'nachts is at night. Ik ben bang s'nachts. Ik ben bang s'nachts. I am I got scared at nights. I sing. Ik zing. I sing. Ik zing. Ik zing. Ik zing. I like you. Ik vind je leuk. Ik vind je leuk. Ik vind je leuk. It's vind je leuk. O. Ik vind je leuk. I like you. So guys and girls, now let's begin our practice session. I will be uh, using the sentences in English and you will be translating them in Dutch and speaking in a loud and clear voice. Phrases Yes, Zina I am hungry Ik heb honger. Yes. I am thirsty. Yes. Ik heb dorst. R is with the R. With the thrill. It's R. Ik heb dorst. I am sleepy. Ik ben slaperig. I am tired. Ik ben moe. Don't fight with me. Niet vechten met mij. I want to buy clothes. Kopen means buy. Ik wil kleren kopen. I want new shoes. Yes, ik wil nieuwe schoenen. I want to eat candy. Yes, ik wil snoop eten. I have headache. Nice, ik heb hoofdpijn. I have back pain. Ik heb pijn in de rug. Pijn in de rug. I have gone mad. Ik ben gek geworden. I will straighten you out. Ik zal je recht zetten. I get scared at night. Ik ben bang s'nachts. S'nachts. I sing. Yes, ik zing. I like you. Nice, ik vind je leuk. So guys and girls, now I will only del deliver the lesson in Dutch. So please listen to me clear carefully. Less. 12 12 Lesson is called less less 12 Zinnen Ik heb honger Ik heb dorst Ik ben slaperig Ik ben moe Niet vechten met mij Ik wil kleren 
kopen. Ik wil nieuwe schoenen. Ik wil snoop eten. Ik heb hoofdpijn. Ik heb pijn in de rug. Ik ben gek geworden. Ik zal je recht zetten. Ik ben bang s'nacht. Ik zing. Ik vind je leuk. So guys and girls, if you would like to do some more exercises, then please visit us at ifectioner.com. If you liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next tutorial. Until then, take care. Bye. Dag. Doei. Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Dutch Conversation lessons by ifectioner.com in lesson number 13 we will be discussing about some of the most common phrases which you can use during a job interview let's start our lesson interview is interview in dutch interview interview with the stress on air and interview. What is your name? Who hate who? Who is the polite version, the formal version? And in an informal environment, we would say who hate ye? Who hate who? Who hate who? Who hate who? What is your name? Who hit who? How much experience do you have? Who feel erfaring hebt u? Who feel erfaring hebt u? Who feel how much? Who how feel much? Who feel erfaring hebt u? How much experience do you have? Who feel erfaring hebt u? I have five years of experience in selling goods. Ik heb five jaar erfaring in de verkoop van goederen. Verkoop is selling and goederen goods. Ik heb five jaar erfaring in de verkoop van goederen. Ik heb vijf jaar ervaring in de verkoop van goederen. Ik heb vijf jaar ervaring in de verkoop van goederen. I have five years of experience in selling goods. Ik heb vijf jaar ervaring in de verkoop van goederen. What is your salary expectation what is o sal salaris verwachting what is o salaris verwachting what is o salaris verwachting what is your salary expectation what is o salaris verwachting I think 3000 euros are fine. Ik denk dat 3, 3 is 3, 3000 euro zijn prima. Ik denk dat 3000 euro per maand zijn prima. Ik denk dat 3000 euro zijn prima. I think 3000 euros are fine. Ik denk dat 3000 euro zijn prima. I like challenges. Ik hou van uitdagingen. Uitdagingen. Ik hou van uitdagingen. Ik hou van uitdagingen. Because uh, we are 
breaking our word over here therefore it is out the khingan i like challenges ikhau fan out the khingan ikhau fan out the khingan i like challenges i can work late ik kan laat werken so it's a soft end ik kan laat werken ik kan laat werken ik kan wa laat werken i can work late ik kan laat werken i work well under pressure ik werk goed onder druk busy druk is busy ik werk goed onder druk and druk is also pressure ik werk goed onder druk i well i work well under pressure ik werk goed onder druk i like to work with people ik werk graag met mensen 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 i like to work with people ik werk graag met mensen i am a hard working person ik ben een hard workende persoon hard workende ik ben een hard workende persoon ik ben een hard workende persoon ik ben een hard workende persoon persoon i am a hard working person ik ben een hard workende persoon so guys and girls let's begin our practice session i will be uh speaking the uh, sentences and phrases in english and i would expect you to speak in dutch so please be clear precise and loud interview yes interview what is your name who hit u very good how much experience do you have who feel are falling helped u nice i have 5 years of experience in selling goods yes i have 5 year erfaring in the verkoop van goederen what is your salary expectation verwachting what is u salaris verwachting i think 3000 euros are fine ik denk dat 3000 euro zijn prima nice i like challenges ik hou van uitdagingen i can work late ik kan laat werken nice good i work well under pressure yes ik werk goed onder druk so you have to remember that it's onder dr druk u ik werk goed onder druk i like to work with people ik werk graag met mensen nice i am a hard working person yes ik ben een hard workende person so guys and girls now i will 
repeat this lesson only in Dutch so please listen to me carefully less 13 interview interview who hit u who feel are faring hept u ik heb five yard are faring in the for van goderen what is u salaris for wachting ik denk dat 3000 euro per maand zijn prima Ik hou van oud dag gingen. Ik kan laat werken. Ik werk goed onder druk. Ik werk graag met mensen. Ik ben een hard werkende persoon. Guys and girls, if you would like to do some more exercises, then please visit us on ifactner.com. Please subscribe to this channel. If you liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Dag, doei. Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Dutch Conversation Lessons by iFactioner.com. In lesson number 14, we will be talking about spices in Dutch. Spices are called krauder or krauden in Dutch. So you, you have to use the soft N. Krauder, krauder, krauder. Let's start our lesson number 14. Spices Crowder Red Chili Powder Rode Chili Powder Rode Chili Powder Rode Chili Powder Red Chili Powder Rode Chili Powder Turmeric Curcuma, 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 turmeric, curcuma, coriander, 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 poppy seed, man zat, man zat. Man zad, poppy seed, man zad, black pepper, zwarte pepper, zwarte pepper, zwarte pepper, cinnamon, kaneel, 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 cinnamon, kaneel, bay leaf. Laurier blood, Laurier blood, Laurier blood, Bay leaf, Laurier blood, Cumin, Comine, it's Comine, why? Remember? Comine, Clove, Crowd, Nachel, Nachel is Nail, crowd, nachel, crowd, nachel, crowd, nachel, clove, crowd, nachel, cardamom, 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 tamarind. Tamarinda, 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 Tamarind, Tamarinda, Saffron, 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 Gram, 
flower kram bloom kram bloom kram bloom gram flower kram bloom salt zout 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 salt zout sugar saukar 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 sugar saukar so guys and girls let's begin our practice session i will be speaking in dutch and you will be translating and speaking in dutch i will be speaking in english spices yes crowden red chili powder it's red chili powder 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 red chili powder turmeric yes curcuma coriander nice coriander poppy seed yes manzad black pepper yes zwarte pepper cinnamon ya yeah, kanel bay leaf yes laurier blood cumin yeah it's not comijan it's comain comain clove yes kraut nakhal nakhal cardamom yes cardamom tamarind yeah tamarind saffron nice saffron gram flower gram gram bloom salt yes zout sugar very good saukar now guys and girls i will only be speaking in dutch so please listen to me carefully less fierteen crowden crowden rode chili powder curcuma coriander manzad zwarte pepper kanel laurier blood comain crowd nakhal cardamom tamarind saffron kram bloom zout saukar guys and girls if you would like to do some more exercises then please visit us on ifactner.com please subscribe to our channel if you liked this video then please give us a thumbs up i will see you in the next lesson until then take care bye dag doei hey guys and girls welcome to learn dutch conversation lessons by ifactner.com in lesson number 15 we will be practicing some of the most common phrases related to party and getting ready for a party let's start our lesson uh, getting ready for a party is uh, translated as zich klaar voor een feestje in dutch zich klaar voor een feestje feest is a big party and feestje is a small party so there is a tip that whenever we use uh, a word ye e usually in the end then it means the smaller version of the bigger thing for example tas tas 
is a big uh, you can say bag and when we use tashie j e y e a at the end then it means a small bag and faced is a big party and fascia means the small party let's start our lesson number 15 getting ready for a party zikh klar for an fascia i want a new dress for the evening party ik wil een nieuwe jurk voor het avondfeest ik wil een nieuwe jurk voor het avondfeest ik wil een nieuwe jurk voor een avondfeest i want a new dress dress for the evening party ik wil een nieuwe jurk voor het avondfeest avond evening and feast is party can you buy me a necklace and earrings kuntu mai ketting and orbella kopa kuntu mai ketting and orbella kopa kuntu mai ketting and orbella kopa can you buy me a necklace and earrings kuntu mai ketting and orbella kopa how do i look pretty ho zi ik er uit mooi ho zi ik er uit mooi ho zi ik er uit mooi how do i look look pretty ho zi ik er uit mooi embroidered shirt looks good gebordeerde ge bo gebord oorde shirt zit er goed uit gebordeerde shirt zit er goed uit gebordeerde shirt zit er goed uit embroidered shirt looks good glass bangles are very delicate glassen glassen armbanden zijn zeer delicaat glazen armbanden it's glazen glazen armbanden zijn zeer delicaat glazen arm armbanden zijn zeer delicaat glass bangles are very delicate glazen armbanden zijn zeer delicaat <coughs> so guys and girls let's begin our practice session i will speak in english and you will be speaking in dutch so please be clear precise and loud getting ready for a party yes zich klaar voor een feestje i want a new dress for the evening party yes ik wil een nieuwe jurk voor het avondfeest can you buy me a necklace and earrings yes kunt u mij ketting en orbella kopen How do I look pretty? Ho zi ik er uit mooi good embroidered shirt looks good ge boor doorde so it's ge boor doorde ge boor doorde shirt zit er goed out good glass bangles are very delicate yes glazen armbanden zijn zeer delicate so guys and girls i uh, let's do the last thing i will only deliver the touch lesson now 
less 15 sich klar vor ein Fischier sich klar vor ein Fischier ich will ein neue Jürg vor het Aufwand fest kunt du my getting ein Orbele Koppe Who see ik er out? Moe Kebol dulde shirt zit er goed out. Glazen armbanden zijn zeer delicate. Guys and girls, please visit ifectional.com for more video tutorials. Please subscribe to our channel. If you liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Dag, doei. Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Dutch Conversation Lessons by ifectioner.com. In lesson number 16, we will be continuing our learning about vegetables in Dutch. This is the extended version of vegetables lesson. Vegetables are called grunte in Dutch and is a little softer. Grunta, the last ten. Grunta, vegetables. Vegetables, grunta. Potato or potato is called hard apple. Hard is earth, and because uh, it comes uh, from beneath the earth, therefore. Potatoes are called hard apple and apples are apple. Hard apple and Dutch are very fond of hard apple. Peas Arv Arvatan 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 Peas Carrot Wortel 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 Carrot Wortel Mint Mund 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 Mint Mund Green Chili Grune Pepper Grune Pepper Grune Pepper Bell Pepper Paprika 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 Bell pepper Paprika Ginger Hember Hember R is with the thrill and H is H Hember G is pronounced as H Hember Ginger Hember Garlic Knoflook 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 So we pronounce we have to uh, add the word of K It's not like knowledge It's knowledge or Knoflook Garlic Knoflook Lemon Citroon 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 Lemon, citroon, okra, 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 with the stress on R and R, okra, cucumber, comcomer, 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 cucumber, comcomer. Tomato or tomato? Tomat. 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 Tomato or tomato? Tomat. Onion? Ui. 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 Onion? Ui. Garlic? Knoflook. 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 So guys and girls, let's uh, repeat this uh, lesson. I will be right 
now speaking in English and you will be speaking in Dutch. Vegetables Yes, groenten Potato or potato Yes, hard apple Peas Yes, erwarten Carrot Ja, wortel Mint Yes, munt Green chili Ja, groene pepper Bell pepper Ja, paprika Ginger Gember Garlic Knoflook Lemon Citroen Okra Okra Cucumber Yes, komkomer Tomato or tomato Ja, tomat Onion Ui. Garlic Yes, knoflook So guys and girls, now I will only be delivering this lesson in Dutch So please listen to me carefully Les zestien Groenten Groente Aard appel Arvaten Wortel Munt Groene pepper Paprika Gember Knoflook Citroen Okra Komkomer Tomat Oei Knoflook Guys and girls, if you would like to do some more exercises then please visit ifactioner.com please subscribe to our channel if you liked this video then please give us a thumbs up i will see you in the next lesson until then take care Dag. doei hey guys and girls welcome to learn dutch conversation lessons by ifactioner.com in lesson number 17 we will be learning some Dutch words and phrases related to weather. Weather is called weer in Dutch. Weer. Weer. Let's start our lesson. Weather. Weer. It's too hot today. Het is te warm vandaag. Het is te warm vandaag. Het is te warm vandaag. It's too hot today. Het is te warm vandaag. It's raining outside. Het regent bouten. Het regent bouten. Het regent bouten. N is with a soft uh, sound. It's raining outside. Het regent bouten. <coughs> Winter is about to begin. Winter gaat beginnen. Winter gaat beginnen. Winter gaat beginnen. Winter is about to begin. Winter gaat beginnen. Flowers bloom in spring. Blommen bloin in het voorjaar. Blommen are flowers and bloin is bloom. Blommen bloin in het voorjaar. Blommen bloom in het voorjaar. Leave fall in autumn. Verlaat fallen in the herfst. Verlaat fallen 
in the harvest. For lot fallen in the harvest, leaves fall in autumn. For lot fallen in the harvest. I love summers. Ik hou van de zomer. Ik hou van de zomer. Ik hou van de zomer. I love summers. Ik hou van de zomer. It's very humid. Het is erg vochtig. And most of the times het is erg vochtig in Netherland. Het is erg vochtig. Het is erg vochtig. It's very humid. Het is erg vochtig. Sun is shining. De zon schijnt. Schijnt. De zon schijnt. De zon schijnt. De zon schijnt. Sun is shining. De zon schijnt. Clouds are thundering. Wolken donderen. Wolken donderen. Wolken donderen. Wolken donderen. Clouds are thundering. Wolken donderen. It's hailing. Het hachelt. Het hachelt. Het hachelt. Het hachelt. It's hailing. Het hachelt. So guys and girls, let's uh, start our practice session. I will be speaking in English and you will be speaking in Dutch. So please be clear, precise and try to talk in a clear voice. Weather. Yes, where? It's hot. Too hot today. Yes, het is te warm vandaag. It's raining outside. Yes, het regent buiten. Winter is about to begin. Winter gaat beginnen. Yes, good. Flowers bloom in spring. Ja, bloemen, bloemen in het voorjaar. Leave fall in autumn. Verlaat falle in de herfst. I love summers. Yes, ik hou van de zomer. It's very humid. Het is erg vochtig. Sun is shining. Ja, the sun schijnt. Clouds are thundering. Yes, Vulcan Dondra. It's hailing. Ja, het hachelt. So guys and girls, now I will be delivering this lesson only in Dutch. So please try to listen to me carefully. Less 17 Where? Where? Het is te warm vandaag. Het regent buiten. Winter gaat beginnen. Bloemen bloeien in het voorjaar. Verlaat fallen in the harvest. Ik hou van de zomer. Het is erg vochtig. De zon schijnt. Wolken donderen. Het hachelt. So guys and girls, if you would like to do some more exercises and download the PDFs, then please visit us on ifactioner.com. If you liked this video then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then take care. Dag doei. Use U for the formal environment. 
when you want to be polite and out of respect then you would say who khat hat met u family but when you are talking to a younger person or a friend then you would say who khat hat met ye family who khat hat met ye family who khat hat met ye family so kh word is a little difficult to pronounce who khat hat met ye j is pronounced as y in dutch so it's who khat hat met ye family How are your kids? Who khat hat met u kinderen? Who khat hat met u kinderen? Now uh, I'm being polite, therefore I'm using u. And u is pronounced as u. Who khat hat met u family? Who khat hat met u family? Who khat hat met u family? So let's uh, do the exercises. I will speak in English and you will try to speak in Dutch. Questions. Vragen. Good. How are you? It's not gaat. It's gaat. 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 Who gaat het? How much does this cost? Yes, what cost het? What cost het? What cost het? How is the weather? Good. Who is het weer? How is your family? family yes who khat hat met ye family how are your kids very good who khat hat met u kinderen so let's uh, repeat the dutch versions once again vragen who khat hat what cost hat Who is het weer? Who gaat het met je familie? Who gaat het met uw kinderen? Out of respect, we say u, and for younger persons, we say je. Yeah. So, guys and girls, this was our lesson number one of Learn Dutch conversation. If you would like to do some more exercises, then please visit us on ifactner.com. please uh, like this video and share this video with your friends i will see you in the next lesson until then take care dag doei hey guys and girls welcome to your lesson number 2 of learn dutch conversation by ifactner.com in this lesson we are going to learn some simple phrases about grocery shopping Shopping or grocery shopping is called bod schappen doen. Bod schappen doen. Bod schappen doen. Bod schappen doen. Let's start our lesson. Grocery shopping. Bod schappen doen. How much does this cost? What cost het? What cost het what cost het how much does this cost what cost het is it fresh is het fresh is it fresh simple is it fresh is it fresh is it fresh it is too expensive Het is te duur. Te is too and duur, duur, duur is expensive. Het is te duur. Het is te duur. Het is te duur. It is too expensive. It is stale. Het is moe. 
Het is mof. Het is mof. Het is mof. Het is mof. Het is stil. Dit is cheap. Dit is goedkoop. Goedkoop is basically cheap. Dit is cheap. Dit is goedkoop. Dit is goedkoop. Het is ge. Goedkoop. Dit is goedkoop. So guys and girls, let's uh, start our practice session. I will uh, speak in English and I would like you to translate and speak in Dutch. Grocery shopping. Yes, boodschappen. Boodschappen doen. Boodschappen doen. How much does this cost? What? What cost it? What cost it? What does it cost? Is it fresh? Is it fresh? Good. It is too expensive. That is te doer. Doer. U. U is pronounced as u. Doer. That is te doer. It is still. Yes, het is moff. This is cheap. Very good. This is goedkoop. So guys and girls, thank you very much for joining us for lesson number two of Learn Dutch Conversation by ifactioner.com. If you would like to do some more exercises and download this presentation, then please go to ifactioner.com. If you like this presentation, then please give us a thumbs up. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Dag, doei. Hey, guys and girls, welcome to your lesson number three of Learn Dutch Conversation by ifactioner.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how do we say don't do this or don't do that in Dutch. Let's start our lesson. Don't. Niet doen. Niet means not and doen means do. Do not. Don't niet doen. Don't niet doen. Don't make noise. Mark geen lawaai. Mark is make. Geen is not and lawaai is noise. Mak geen lawaai. It's geen. Mak geen lawaai. Mak geen lawaai. Don't make noise. Don't irritate me. Neet irriteren. Me. Some people would say irriteren and some people would say irritera. Irritera. So N is silent in their voice, but both uh, pronunciations are good. Nate, editoran me. Nate, editoran me. Nate, editoran me. Don't irritate me. Don't turn off the TV. Nate, out. Out means off or out. Outskakelen. Outskakelen. Some people would say it outskakelen. And uh, other other times, they some people would say outskar color, outskar color. So any silent or it's in a very soft tone. Net outskar color, from the TV. Net outskar color from the TV or net outskar color from the TV. Both are good. Net outskar color from the TV. Don't turn off the TV. Don't make a mess. Mark net pound hoop. Pound hoop mess. Mark net pound hoop. Mark net pound hoop. Don't make a mess. Don't fight or scream. Net fechten 
af skruwen, schroeven, net vechten. Wie is pronounces? Fa, fe, fef. Net vechten, zoiets so net vechten. Of schroeven. Some people would say vechten and schroeven. Wat al goed? Net vechten of schroeven. Net vechten of schroeven. Don't fight or scream. So guys and girls, now let's start our practice session. I will speak in English and I would expect you to translate and speak in Dutch. Don't. Very good. Net doen. Don't make noise. Lawai. Mak geen lawai. Very good. Don't irritate me. Net irritera me. Very good. Don't turn off the TV. Out skakelen. Scha. It's out skakelen. Van the TV. Nice. Don't make a mess. Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Dutch Conversation Lessons by iFactNet.com. In these lessons, we will be learning uh, to speak in Dutch and we will be learning to speak simple uh, phrases, common day phrases in Dutch. Let's start our lesson number one, which is about questions. Simple questions. How do we ask simple questions in Dutch? Questions are called vragen. 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 In Dutch, if you are not familiar with the Dutch pronunciation, then please uh, watch uh, my video tutorial series on Learn Dutch Through English lessons and uh, let's start our lesson number one of Dutch conversation questions Frachen how are you who had het G is pronounced as ha in Dutch who had het who had het who had het? Who means how? Had is going, had it. How is it going? Usually in Dutch we ask, Who had het? How are you? How much does this cost? What cost het? What cost het? What cost het? What? What does it cost? Usually we ask, What does it cost in Dutch? What cost het? What cost het? How is the weather? Who is het weer? Who is het weer? Da is het. For da we use either da, de or het uh, for different words and if you would like to learn more about it the difference between da and het, then please watch my videos. Who is het weer? Where is weather? Who is het weer? How is your family? Who gaat het met je family? Who gaat het met je family? Usually in Dutch we use je in the informal environment and you can 